Today I'm going to show you how to measure distance between two points in Google Maps because Google Maps hides the measuring tools in a secret place so it is hard to measure distance between two points and you can you are not easy to find the tools out from the maps now I'm going to show you how to find them out. Suppose I want to measure the distance between London Eye and the Heathrow Airport. So let's set a point, starting point first. You'll see here more information. There's no measuring tools here. Once you search a place on the top of the searching bar, now the must set up a starting point for the measuring tools first. Even you have searched that location, Now Coca-Cola London Eye here, but you can see carefully this drop pin down to the narrow this now you can see the difference just before there's a little circle under the dropping pawn dropping pawn pin if I want to search the London Eye, it won't give me a little circle under the under the pin. So let's say London Eye. Now, once you search, the dropping pin doesn't have the little circle ar ar around the pin under the pin. You can see it. So more information you click here on the bottom more information bottom left hand. So you can't find the measuring tools here. We have to adjust this pin a little bit. And then you can see my hand press here and the dropping pin moved. Once your hand uh, moved a little bit on, and the uh, pin moved to and more information on the bottom left you can see the measure distance ruler here. So let's just click on it. Here you can see there's a black circle with a target black circle you move around it you can see this distance between these two points one ridiculous design of the Google engineers they are very stupid when I move when I move to see now let's say when I move to C two point, the start point and the end point, it can't really move to to let you see the starting point and the end point together. This is ridiculous and the stupid design of Google Map. But whatever. But whatever what it does does we can measure the distance between Heathrow Airport and the London Eyes. So it's about 24 kilometers between two points. Now here we can measure the uh, underground or someone will call it tip. This tip we can suppose we walk to the tip station here and then 
the walking path is 423 meters between the London Eye and the nearest tube station. Press a pass here and at a point, this point is a turning point, you can turn the ruler's directions. Now here, I can turn it. Now let's say we go to the here and then change the from the and then we change the line from black to blue line and then add up point and add it. Each change direction you will you will add a point, a turning point on the station. So you can get a very accurate distance between two points. Let me see. Yeah, this line. And then here. And just at the point, you can turn around the railway or the underground, so called. So it is not difficult to do that here. I can see if you go to the London Eye by the tip, by the tip, and it's about 28 kilometers. So it's uh, suppose you are uh, suppose the tip are going at a uh, speed on uh, eighty kilometers per hour. So you will just take uh, twenty five minutes to go to. London Ivan Heathrow, Heathrow Airport. That is what I measure this distance. As I said, uh, you need to see all pictures from the beginning and the end point. So you must minimize the maps, but the Google developers are very stupid because when I minimize it adds this pawn and this pawn this pawn and this pawn distance to my original measurement so it is very bad design for the Google Maps uh, but as user you know that it's just okay because we can count it putting the uh, target black circle on your destination so you can get the you can get the distance between two points here now let me show you to measure a longer distance suppose we measured distance between London and Hong Kong um, with di direct nine, suppose you fly, your fly is directly from London Airport to London Heathrow Airport to Hong Kong Airport. Now, let's clear the measurement first. We have cross here, first clear, and then we go to the map. We go to Heathrow Airport first. Here, drop a pawn, drop a pin first, and then once you drop a pin, then you can use the ruler here. Measure distance. Now, the Hong Kong International Airport is far away. You can see the line is not a string line. It cur it's a curved line because the earth isn't 
flat. It's a ball, a big ball, a basketball, you can say that. A big basketball. So let me find the Hong Kong International Airport first. Chalapcock. Let's say here. Now at a pond first. You will stay here and then by Hong Kong say trip is MTR here. It's about nine thousand six hundred and thirty one kilometers. Now here when I move you can see this pawn adds to my measurement. It's very stupid design. Now see I want to see the starting point and the end point but it doesn't show me that. That's it. That's it. It's not a record science. It's easy to do that. You can do it.